This video is about 3D printing. We've tried to steer clear of 3D printing videos just because we always want to keep our projects really affordable about the um, price of a high street coffee and perhaps a slight slice of cake. However, we do do a lot of 3D printing and we thought it was time to share. But don't worry, we'll still be doing affordable projects for you guys as well. Yeah. Here, our 3D printer has just arrived. And um, this is one that we're going to have to build and assemble ourselves, so that'll be interesting. On the way here, it looked like it got knocked. Um, hopefully that won't do too much damage to Anyways. the printer itself. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's open this up. all the tools you need, screwdriver, pliers and allen key. Now all that was left was to assemble the 3D printer and I didn't think this would take too long or be too challenging but as you'll see later on in the video I was very wrong. Doesn't go. Other one. Diagonals. Okay, do the top one. We tried to get it flat but we can't get it perfect. There's about a millimetre of play here. Wire axis done. If you come over here, we've got the wire axis stepper motor in and the wire and the pulley over here. I've just added in the belt here. And if you come over here, the instructions say I've got to eat 15% of the Haribos. So here we go. My fingers stuck. Right. Nope. It's starting to take shape now. I'm busy working on the extruder now and it's, cra it's getting crazy complex. Um, my little sister went to bed two hours ago. I then built the LCD screen and the heat bed, and then that was me done for that night. We're into the second day now, and of course you've got to have some neat cables. Everybody's in bed and I just got my dad to film uh, me. And I finished making, building the 3D printer, and this is the first time turning it on, so... This is exciting. quite cool. I'm going to start setting this up now. It's calibrated and I'm probably going to wake everybody up by it printing the whistle. My first print is nearly finished. Um, it's gone fine but the filament sensor wasn't working so I just turned it off. Got five minutes left. Of this. <whistles> Definitely woken up my family now. It's really cool. I love it. Now let's compare and contrast both printers. This is our current 3D printer and we've had it for ages and we got it dead cheap because somebody ordered a load for a project and that project got cancelled. It's a Quiddy Tech one and I'll show you around. We've got dual extruders, so we can have two colours and two materials. And we 3D printed these and just put some bearings on them. It's operated via USB um, via Raspberry Pi. We've got Octoprint running on the Raspberry Pi and we 3D printed the Raspberry Pi holder. And there's a camera here and we also 3D printed that holder. Um, so we've got dual extruders, so that's two hot ends. The hot ends move on the Y axis and the X axis. 
It's, um, it's not plugged in, but this is acting like a generator, and when I move it, it lights the screen up. The presser is a bit different. The presser um, has the same, the hot ends move on the X, but on the presser, the bed actually moves on the Y. And also on the presser, the hot end moves up and down on the Z, but here, the base stay the no the base moves up and down on the Z. It's got a heated bed and we you have to level it um yourself. When we brought it it had a bent Z axis. Um so the Quiddy um, tech support were amazing. They sent us a new one um, a new Z for free even though we didn't buy the printer off them. It's been a great workhorse um but it's hard to get the first print laid in and also it's hard to level the bed as well. Um, we did have to put this one together um, by ourselves, but we're talking an hour. Whereas the Prosser took two long nights, um, but I must say making it was really, really um, fun to do. We've been trying to get hold of a Pi Zero 2 to um, run the Prosser, but we can't find them anywhere. They've been sold out. Um, so we're just going to transfer this over to the Prosser. I suppose the last thing to mention is this is really loud compa compared to the presser. We'll finish up the video here as we don't want it to get too long. We'll show you uh, modifications, our first prints and fixing the filament sensor in a part two which should be out by the time you're watching this. To wrap up, we loved building the new presser printer. Um, it wasn't a quick job though and it was very expensive. Um, you can get cheaper clones of the presser printer, however we wanted to support um, Joseph Presser because he's just contributed so much to 3D printing in general. Um, the printer really is amazing, we've had great results, um, there's going to be no warping, no failed prints, no, and it, it's been a joy to use. You can get a mini one which is cheaper and has great reviews. Here are some of our first prints. Um, the comb was our second print after the whistle and we designed that ourselves. Check the website to get the model if you want to make one. We also printed a model 3D print of our dad. Old printer, new printer. So as you can see, pretty similar to the results. Yeah. So give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Also subscribe because that would really help us out. Um, and also so you don't miss any videos. Also be sure to check out our website, gogolaps.com and we'll see you in part two where we show you the prints, the new prints and modifications. Have a good day, bye.